So, I just got done putting a coat of uh, dupe color metal cast anodized surface color system metallic ground coat. It's a reflective coating, provides uniform base coat. Uh, waiting 10 minutes between coats. I already applied the first one. Um, and I think we're only going to need one coat because it's just a little tiny piece of plastic. And I tried to mist it on there pretty good, but we'll see. Alright, let's go apply that next coat. The way you do this is you don't fully cover it. So I'm going to try to hit just the edges. Like that. back here one more time and I'll have that make a color effect. That's what y'all are going to want to get if you want that kind of look. Normally I'd hit it with a uh, VHT clear coat or even a dupe color uh, rim. Specialized for rims or wheels clear coat um, You could if you wanted to hit it with something like a truck bed clear coating But for this project, I believe I'm just going to use Krylon clear The Krylon clear coat should work just fine Although you're not supposed to make paint mix paints And if you have an old car And you're worried about like vibrations and stuff you can hit it with some uh rubber coating it doesn't necessarily have to be the pro but I recommend the pro um, but you should also go with dupe color I find it's still better than the rust-oleum pro I was working with the rust-oleum regular and it's junk the rust the dupe color it's about five six bucks a can for just the regular not pro grade uh, I would rather have that than even maybe this but this does have sound dinner in it so the other stuff should sound it in a little bit uh, like I said, I prefer duplicator.